U.S. to back Ukraine? As long as it takes? Biden tells Zelensky. Here's a summary of the article. December 21, 2022 at 6.03 p.m. UTC updated on December 21, 2022 at 11.32 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time. President Joe Biden promised Volodymyr Zelensky unwavering U.S. support as Ukraine's effort to beat back Russia's invasion nears its 11th month even as support from Republicans poised to take control of the House wanes. The American people are with you every step of the way, and we will stay with you. We will stay with you for as long as it takes, Biden said at the White House on Wednesday during a joint press conference, as the Ukrainian president visited Washington to firm up U.S. support in his first trip outside his country since Moscow's forces invaded. This post received a score of 39,000, with an upvote ratio of 87%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Let's just hope it doesn't take longer than Biden is president. Time is of the essence here. Nah. If Biden dies Harris will continue on. Russia won't last two more years with all this firepower going to Ukraine. Yeah, they will. They won't make any ground though. Now they might hold stubborn for a few more months but they're facing equipment shortfalls as well as trade embargoes. The latter they're using to get around with shell companies but the amount of stuff they can get this way is far more restricted and easier to disrupt. They're running out of viable tanks, their own infrastructure is going to degrade till it begins to fail and eventually they're going to run out of supplies to maintain an expansive war such as this. Putin won't give up. It's the hard reality of his country coming apart at the seams that will force him out of the fight. I think you underestimate Rusia's capabilities and ties. Through rationing and good old-fashioned Russian meat shields, they can definitely sustain a two-year conflict. They likely won't make any ground, but as long as there's not a coup and they have able-bodied men they can keep it up as long as they want. I think the current estimate is summer 2023. They can be stubborn but what equipment do they really have left? T-62 is already in the field. Are we expecting T-34 next? Additionally, when family from Moscow or St. Petersburg starting to receive body bags, the war will be over, because it was not their problem previously, but it's sure by then. Never make the mistake of assuming the enemy is going to keep doing what they've been doing. The Russians still have a military industry, just because they're running low on equipment doesn't mean they won't find a way to ramp up industrial capacity. Half-embezzled military industry which is based on foreign semiconductors and all kinds of other supplies that they aren't getting anymore. They may still make some equipment, but it gets even harder to scrape components together as time goes by. Article President Joe Biden promised Volodymyr Zelensky unwavering U.S. support as Ukraine's effort to beat back Russia's invasion nears its 11th month even as support from Republicans poised to take control of the House wanes. President Joe Biden welcomed Volodymyr Zelensky to the White House on Wednesday, as the Ukrainian president sought to firm up U.S. support for Kyiv's defense against Russia in his first trip outside his country since Moscow's forces invaded. Zelensky told Biden in English that Ukraine controls the situation in the war thanks to U.S. support. We're going to strengthen Ukraine's ability to defend itself, particularly air defense, and that's why we're going to be providing Ukraine with a Patriot missile battery and training your forces to accurately use them. Biden told Zelensky, adding, we stand with you. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.